Right. Right. Yeah, totally. You know, sometimes it's not about the trespasses that are committed against us and it's not about retribution. Sometimes it's just about reacting with kindness, love, genuine care and concern. I know it's not always easy to turn the other cheek, to be the bigger figure, as they say, because sometimes, sometimes I want to be right. It's not always about being right. Jesus said, to the, if you have done this to the least of my brothers, you have done this to me. So sometimes, even if it is the other person at fault, it's not about being right. It really is about just being the bigger figure and turning the other cheek. And if that doesn't work, you can always reach out. You can always reach out to someone else. Because Bill said that when all else fails, work with another alcoholic saves the day. Maybe I can't turn the other cheek at that moment. Maybe I need to reach out. Maybe I just need to call someone and talk about something completely different that has nothing to do with that situation, just so I'm not focusing on myself. Sometimes it's as easy as just picking up the phone, you know, the thousand pound phone. Cell phones are pretty light these days. Mine's a couple of ounces. So I can just pick it up like that. It's like 200 people I can reach out and talk to. So sometimes it really is just about turning the other cheek. So today we're here talking about um, how we react to certain trials and tribulations. And the scripture that we were talking about is what Jesus said is, what you do unto the least of these my brothers you have done unto me. And uh, a lot of times people in our lives will do certain things to us that will cause us to give a reaction to them. And uh, what Daniel was talking about is in the manner of how we behave towards other people and how we react to them. And it's not always our first instinct that we should do. Um, our first instinct is usually to retaliate in a manner of physical or verbal attack. And uh, a lot of times that causes turmoil in our lives even though we really feel that the person deserves that kind of a reaction. And we've learned from years of um, trying not to react in those manners that there is always a better way to handle that. And the specific thing that we're talking about today is how we can turn that negative energy that someone has brought onto us in a positive direction through prayer, meditation, and um, just being kind to the person that has harmed us. I know that's not always an easy thing to um, to understand, especially if you're new, to be able to take someone who has harmed you in a verbal or physical manner and turn that into um, acting positive towards them. But, you know, what we've learned from the program is how, like Bill said, it's not always um, the effect that we need to produce. Our serenity can be turned upside down, but our sobriety must not be shaken. And uh, I like that specific term because I understand that. I've been through turmoil in my life and I've been um, in situations where people have hurt me. And uh, it's easy for me to say that I want to do something unto that person, but I need to understand for my sobriety and my serenity that if I turn kindness towards somebody that hurt me, that I feel better about the situation. I no longer need to harbor resentment towards that person. If I can act in a certain manner and give them kindness, that they might in turn be able to react that way towards another person. So it's just one of those things, that you know, a life lesson that you need to learn if we look towards Jesus and we read the book and study that stuff, that um, we will intuitively know how to handle situations that used to baffle us. Now.